William Riddle Birdwood was born on the 13th of September 1865 in Calcutta, India, to Sir Samuel Birdwood, a member of the Bengal Civil Service, and his wife, Edith Maria Birdwood, née Law. He was educated at Clifton College in Bristol, England and the Royal Military College, Sandhurst. Birdwood was commissioned into the Royal Artillery in 1885. He served on the northwest frontier of India and took part in the Hazara Expedition of 1888 and the Miranzai Expedition of 1891. He was promoted to captain in 1893 and served as a staff officer in the Tira Campaign of 1897-98. During the Second Boer War, Birdwood served on the staff of Lord Kitchener in South Africa from 1900 to 1902. He was mentioned in dispatches and awarded the Distinguished Service Order, DSO, in 1902. He was promoted to Major in 1900 and to Lieutenant Colonel in 1902. After the war, Birdwood continued his staff appointments in India, being promoted to Colonel in 1908 and Brigadier General in 1910. He was appointed a Companion of the Order of the Indian Empire, CIE, in 1908. He was promoted to Major General in 1911. At the outbreak of World War I in 1914, Birdwood was appointed to command the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, ANZAC, which was being raised for service in the war. He was promoted to temporary lieutenant general in December 1914 and arrived in Egypt in late December to take up his command. Birdwood led the ANZAC forces during the Gallipoli Campaign in 1915. He was present at the landing at Anzac Cove on the 25th of April 1915 and led the subsequent battles for the Sari Bear Range in August 1915. Despite the failure of the campaign, Birdwood gained the respect and admiration of the Australian and New Zealand troops under his command. He was appointed a Knight Commander of the Order of St. Michael and St. George KCMG, in 1915 for his service at Gallipoli. In early 1916, the Anzac Corps was split into two separate corps, with Birdwood taking command of I Anzac Corps, which was sent to the Western Front in France. He led the I Anzac Corps during the Battle of the Somme in 1916 and the Battle of Messines in 1917. In November 1917, Birdwood took command of the newly formed Australian Corps, which was composed of the five Australian divisions on the Western Front. He led the Australian Corps during the Battle of Cambrai in November-December 1917 and the German Spring Offensive in March-April 1918. In May 1918, Birdwood relinquished command of the Australian Corps to Lieutenant General John Monash and took command of the British Fifth Army. He retained administrative command of the Australian Imperial Force AIF, until the end of the war. Despite leading the Australians through some of the bloodiest battles of the war, Birdwood remained popular with the troops due to his personal courage and willingness to support them. He was promoted to Lieutenant General in 1915 and to the permanent rank of General in 1920. After the war, Birdwood toured Australia and New Zealand in 1920, where he was warmly welcomed by the public. He was made a Knight Grand Cross of the Order of the Bath GCB, in 1923 and a Knight Grand Commander of the Order of the Star of India, GCSI, in 1930. Birdwood was appointed Commander-in-Chief, India, in 1925, a position he held until his retirement in 1930. He was raised to the peerage as Baron Birdwood of Anzac and of Tauntons in the County of Devon in 1938. Birdwood died on the 17th of May, 1951, at Hampton Court Palace, where he had been living in Grace and Favor Apartments. He was buried at Twickenham Cemetery with full military honours. Birdwood is remembered as one of the most successful British commanders of World War I. His leadership of the Anzac forces at Gallipoli and on the Western Front earned him the respect and admiration of the Australian and New Zealand troops under his command. The town of Birdwood in South Australia was named after him in 1918. The Birdwood Military Museum in Adelaide, South Australia, is named after him and houses a collection of military memorabilia related to the Australian Armed Forces. Birdwood's autobiography, Khaki and Gown, was published in 1941 and his memoirs, In My Time, Recollections and Anecdotes, were published in 1946. Honors and Awards Knight Grand Cross of the Order of the Bath, GCB, 
1st January 1923, KCB, 4th of June 1917, CB, 19th of June 1911, Knight Grand Commander of the Order of the Star of India, GCSI, 1st of January 1930, KCSI, 1st January 1915, CSI, 1st January 1910, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of St. Michael and St. George, GCMG, 1st January 1919, KCMG, 3rd of June 1915, Knight Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order, GCVO, 11th of May 1937, Companion of the Order of the Indian Empire, CIE, 1st of January 1908, Companion of the Distinguished Service Order, DSO, 4th of August 1908, Knight of Grace of the Venerable Order of St. John, KSTJ, 21st of June 1927, Croix de Guerre, France, 22nd of February 1916, and 11th of March 1919, with Palm, Grand Officer of the Order of the Crown, Belgium, uh, 2nd of November 1916, Croix de Guerre, Belgium, 11th of March 1918, Distinguished Service Medal, United States, 12th of July 1919, Grand Cross of the Order of the Tower and Sword, Portugal, 21st of August 1919, Grand Cordon of the Order of the Rising Sun, Japan, 21st of January 1921. In 1893, Birdwood married Janetta Bromhead, daughter of Sir Benjamin Bromhead. They had a son and two daughters. His wife died in 1947. Their son, Christopher Birdwood, 1899 to 1962, succeeded him as second Baron Birdwood. The elder daughter was Constance Nancy Birdwood, and the younger daughter was Judith Birdwood. Other members of the Birdwood family include labor minister and peer Christopher Birdwood Thompson, 1875 to 1930, Anglo-Indian naturalist Sir George Birdwood, 1832 to 1917, and Jane Birdwood, 1913 to 2000 the second wife of William Birdwood's son. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated, and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal in the description box below.